From the piano to the iPod, technology has extremely advanced the way we listen to music. This movie will span a time window from 130 years ago to now. The main character's name is Jeremy, and he is always behind on the newest musical devices. During the movie, I will be giving you a brief history on each music player. What's up, Jeremy? Hey, I'm just playing a piece I wanted to hear. Why don't you use a phonograph that plays music for you? A what? According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, Thomas Edison introduced the phonograph in 1877 as a machine that could both reproduce and record sound. Emily Berliner improved upon Edison's design by creating the gramophone, which used discs to record and play music as opposed to cylinders. Man, I think this album's getting kind of boring. I guess it's time for a new one. What's up, Jeremy? What are you doing here? Oh, I just bought a record from my new photograph. Oh, really? Because I'm returning all my albums. I got a radio, it plays music for you, and you don't have to buy records. What? Yeah, come on, dude, I'll show you. Okay. According to Kid's work, in 1895, Guglielmo Marconi invented the wireless telegraph. He originally used the radio to transport Morse code, but by the 1920s, the radio had become a new phenomenon where sounds could be transported to a device in a person's home. By the 1930s, most families in America had at least one household radio. Oh, I sure hope this radio I bought is worth the money. Hey, Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. What's up, Jake? What the hell is that? Oh, this is a uh, Walkman. It's the newest thing. You just pop the cassette tape at any time and just walk around. And According to an article written by Tom Hornby, the Sony Walkman was first introduced in 1979. Prior to that, portable radios came about in the late 50s, thanks to the invention of the transistor. Sony perfected this style of portable radios by implementing the use of a cassette tape and giving it a catchy name. Hey Mike. What's up Jeremy? You know, I love my new Walkman and everything, but it's annoying to have to keep rewinding the tape. Yeah, I used to have one of those, but I got a CD player and it plays these. What is this? It's a compact disc. It plays like song after song and it starts from the beginning so you don't have to rewind it. According to Philips.com, the compact disc was first introduced in Japan in 1982. Single CDs at that time could only play three to four minutes of music on each side. Now they can play three hours of music. The revolutionary feature of the CD though was that you could display on a screen what was being played on the disc. Sorry, I got a scratch on your CD. Oh, that's all right. I don't need it. I have an MP3 player. What the hell is that? It's an MP3 player. You could download all your music digitally onto one device and listen to it whenever you want. Yeah. <laughs> According to an article written by Elliot Van Buskirk, the first portable media player was launched in 1997, but not sold until 1998. This device made it possible for music and video to be played on the go and for the user to not have to rewind a song before playing it again. Come in! What's up, Jeremy? Are you ready to go? Well, I would be, except that I can't fit my phone and my MP3 player in my pockets. Well, why don't you just get an iPhone? A what? An iPhone. It has an MP3 player built in so you don't need two devices. That's it! What? I'm done. Done with what? I am done buying new technology that I'm just going to end up throwing out. I've spent so much money in the last few days and I'm fed up. I'm going back to my piano. If you'll excuse me. In 2007, Steve Jobs introduced a revolutionary smartphone called the iPhone. On top of many other technological breakthroughs, Apple introduced the first phone with a dedicated MP3 player built in. 
Nowadays, smartphone users everywhere have ditched their MP3 players and simply keep their music within the convenience of their mobile device, according to a writer from TheVerge.com. So let's recap what we've learned today from Jeremy's struggles. As we can see, he had quite a hard time keeping up with the latest musical technology. While this is an obvious exaggeration, music playback devices have been rapidly advancing since the 1800s, and still are today. Society has come a long way from having to go see live music to accessing millions of songs at their fingertips. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed.